Not bad. Uh, you know, it's a little, a little, uh, you know, irritated, the nerve. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping I'll be better tomorrow and can play. How scary was it for you when it happened? You know, I wasn't that scared initially because it was such an innocuous play. It didn't really hurt that much uh, on the contact. But then when I tried to push off, I felt, you know, the nerve really uh, light up. So it's kind of frustrating more than anything. I think it's something that we can, I hope that we can get under control quickly here because it doesn't feel like something that's too um, serious. But, you know, I've had so many issues with the nerve, I'm not going to take anything for granted. Because of what happened to you, save yourself sometimes, I can't win for losing. <laughs> it's been a tough run, you know. I've had a, a, lot, of, a lot of things to overcome, but uh, you gotta, you got to have a fighting mentality and spirit and don't, don't let it get on top of you and uh, see if I can uh, stay out there on the court. What's your feeling about playing tomorrow? Yeah, I hope to play tomorrow. Any reason why you wouldn't play? If it hurts, then I'm going to favor it and put my back in jeopardy and, you know, obviously put the rest of the season in, uh, in jeopardy, then, then I won't play. Is this the kind of thing that keeps happening to you, Steve, that makes you say in the back of your mind, you know what, I've had enough of this? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Um, we'll see, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, I still enjoy being back there on the court so much that uh, this is nothing compared to, to that feeling of being one of the guys and being on the team and, and trying to win games. So, uh, you know, uh, still well worth it for me. Steve, is, is the nerve something that you can truly conquer or is it something that's kind of inevitable to flare up from time to time? I, I would say it probably is going to flare up from time to time. I mean, obviously, it was, a, it was a little bit unlucky in that it was through contact. But, um, you know, I, I don't know that I'll ever, you know, I'll probably deal with this the rest of my life in some way. You said waking up this morning, you hoped you'd just hop out of bed. Did it feel any different this morning? What was that feeling? It wasn't bad. Um, you know, it's still still a little irritated, but it's not too bad. Given how long the road has been trying to get healthy, why not sit out the next two games for the All-Star break? You get a longer rest. I mean, what's the incentive to push to come back? Well, it's it's depends how it feels, you know. There's no reason to sit out if it's better tomorrow and I feel pretty good. Um, you know, but it, but if if it is an issue, then you know, I'm definitely not going to try to jeopardize uh, any further or, or prolonged absences again. What does that line up with you, Steve Blake, and Kendall out there all at the same time do for you guys? Well, I think it gives us a little a different look. You got three playmakers, ball handlers, uh, shooters, and you know, it can be uh, difficult under the right circumstances for a team to match up with. Kendall's been making his shots as of late at a really high clip. What have you seen? A unconventional form, maybe, but um, someone you feel like he yeah. has that in his wheelhouse. I think he's proven it thus far. You know, he shot the ball well, especially you know for him when he gets his feet set. You know, he's got great range and, and knocks down the three. And uh, you know, I think that's been huge for him to kind of prove that he can shoot. You know, the outside shot, especially the threes, and uh, you know, it's a part of his evolving uh, game, which I think we've all seen as has been great. It's really coming along.